Hey, what's up everybody? James Showers here. Clean's name out there. Uh, you're on the Nomad King channel. We're gonna do kind of a boot update on my Nick's boots. I'm also gonna tell you about what's going on with my Frank's boots. And uh, I'm also gonna show you my boot collection. So, this isn't like um, for my regular viewers or subscribers. This might not be like your video, but I get asked for um, boot updates and boot videos all the time. So, with that being said, here is that boot video for uh, the people that asked for the boot videos. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, here we go, guys. This is basically the boots that I have. Now, I didn't know I was even a boot guy, to be honest with you. I bought this pair of boots back here, this pair of Knicks that I use for my uh, for work, and making a few videos uh, about the Knicks boots. Um, I've made a few friends in the boot world and a friend of mine sent me both of these pairs there's a pair of um i think these are whites uh, nope these ones are nick contender oh no these are whites these ones are whites and then these ones are some old nick contenders or something and uh i've worn worn them a few times they're pretty beat i need to get them basically re well they don't really need too much of a resole they just really need a good cleaning so they ain't too bad this one right here even not too bad really soft sole but or i mean uh flat sole but they're not bad they just need to be cleaned up so i've worn uh this pair a few times they're pretty nice and i've worn this one on a, on a hike uh once or twice um and then i just decided i kind of like boots they're really comfortable and i found this pair of cowboy boots <laughs> that i only wear once in a while I don't know if I'm really like a cowboy or nothing like that. I just, I think they look good with a pair of jeans. The cover shows the, the boot. And I thought these were like kind of nice for a dress. They're pretty dirty right now. I haven't, I don't remember what I used them last for, but they definitely got a bunch of dirt on them. And, uh, yeah, so sometimes I wear those out to, to dress. And then those ones are pretty tight. So popping them in, like once I get my feet popped in there, like, Boom, snug right to the bottom. And then by the end of the night or whatever, they're definitely hard to get off. But uh, I don't know, they're kind of fun to wear. I want to get these two resold. I think I'm going to send these ones to Nick's. Either Nick's or Frank's, um, depending. Because I think I've talked to Grant out at uh, Nick's Boots. That's the manager out there. And he, he was talking about doing a resold for, on these guys. So I think I might be sending these Nick's back to them for a resold. I'm just gonna send these whites off to whites for a resole and in in a polish up or whatnot, and then I was thinking about sending these ones to Frank's. That way I can kind of get um, an idea on the resole and uh, reconditioning from each one of the main boot makers. And then now this pair of boots, man, I'm so bummed out they got so dirty. They got wet the other day, and I don't know if like this is drywall or something got on there. I wear these boots. I love these boots. I don't even know what to say about these boots. They're these Ariats. And I just, they were just on sale, hella cheap. This is kind of like a really soft leather. You know, it's kind of cowboy style. And it's like this box toe. So I was like, no, I'm not going to wear a box toe. Maybe I'll wear them once in a while. My, I just love putting these things on for some reason. Like my feet just pop right in there. They're super comfortable. They're like slippers. What do we got going on here? It's not like it's... Uh, like a 10, I'm at 10 half D. Um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed. I'm going to clean these things up because seriously, I wear these guys a lot. I, I love wearing these things. They're just they're just super comfortable boots. So those, those are my go-to. They're Ariats. Um, these cowboy boots are actually Ariats too, or as well. And look at that. They kind of look like high heels or something. These are definitely like my dress boots. Like I said, I didn't know I was really into into like boots until I got this pair. Right here, the Knicks. And we'll take a look at those because everyone wants to know what's going on with these things. And, uh, you know, I didn't really think I was even into boots. I was like, okay, I'm just looking for the best boot that I can find. I'm looking for the toughest boot for work. And uh, let me see if I can get this guy to focus in a little more. Nope. Uh, and then this is what I ended up getting. I found these Knicks. Um, there. Needing a resole now. You can see this right here is kind of wearing it on this side. And they're just so damn comfortable. And I realized I enjoyed boots. And then, um, like I said, my friend sent me these. 
and uh, they were really comfortable. Now, this is a $600 pair of boots. These are five, these are five, and these are only like uh, 150, and these are about $150 boots. I said those are really comfortable boots. These ones aren't very comfortable, they just kind of look nice. But, um, you know, wearing, wearing these nicer boots right here definitely, I don't know, definitely got me into like enjoying a good pair of boots. They feel good on your feet, you're not fatigued. You just you sit you stand up better and uh, just a good quality leather just it's it's a lot nicer than I thought it was so and it's quite a bit of money to spend on a pair of boots not knowing if you'll like them or not you know but um, I'm glad I ended up liking this pair like it'd feel weird not to wear uh, a pair of boots like this to work because they just they are extremely comfortable and uh, yeah look at that. So let's take a look at what we need to do here. We got, like I said, I can't really get you guys a good shot of it. You can see that the sole is basically gone here and starting to kind of wear into this leather. Now these are stacks of leather that make up the actual sole. So this is just leather stacked. And I believe it's, um, I don't know if it's stitched together, but it's definitely glued together and nailed together. And then they put this um, Vibram sole on here. Look at that. It's about the toast. But you know what? I saw a guy with a pair of Danners that, like, looked like they were a nice boot like this. And then they had, like, a Vibram just, like, glued to the bottom. And they're already separating on his. And it doesn't look like his are even a year old. And these are two years old. This is a two-year-old pair of boots right here. And they're basically just now getting ready for a resole. And like I said, I talked to Grant over at Nick's. And we're probably going to do a uh, Honey Vibram on these because I work on harder surfaces and they suggest that the, the softer um, Honey Vibram wears a lot better on, on that kind of surface. This is a little bit more for um, in the woods and, you know, firefighters and whatnot. I mean, it's not the fire rated one, but you know what I'm talking about? It's just for that terrain. It's better for that terrain. So we're going to do those um, soles on the... Uh, Look, you can't even see it. This camera's so terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you can't see it, but you can see those nails. Oh, those are just filled in with drywall dust, drywall dirt. But yeah, these nails are all they're about popping off here. It's about toast. It's about toast. Uh, see, even I pull on it, it's still not wanting to come off. They're really solid boots. I love this back heel cap. It's just really... It's really tough, man. You can freaking use it as a hammer almost, I swear. And uh, these are just starting to wear in around my, my the shape of my feet now. So they got a bunch of different little creases like right in here. Little creases right here where this is cracking. And I ended up spilling some diesel on these in the summertime. So like right here on the front. And it really kind of dried up that leather. It's like it's crispy right there and crispy right there. And I... Um, so I need to do something about that. But look at that with the snow. Man, I'm, this is such a terrible camera. I apologize. I've, I had such a better camera before. We'll get something better later. But look at that. All that stitching is just covered with drywall dusty paste, you know. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. These boots need an extreme clean. Um, they're super tough. I can see that screw right there. The head of the screw broke off. And that happens all the time on these boots. There's a bunch of different little holes where the screws go in, but that's it. And they end up stopping right there and they end up breaking off. So that's a that's a screw basically broken off in the boot right there. And these are the screws that hold up the uh, Vibram bottom. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I love these boots. You know, there were some things that I nitpicked about them at the beginning when I first got them. But I, like I said, I didn't really know much about boots. I didn't really have any idea. Like these, who cares about the screws? They're not really doing too much. But now they're now they're showing. They're sitting up higher than the tread, you know. So it definitely needs to be replaced. So I'm stoked on getting them replaced. But yeah, um, I got Frank's build me a pair of boots, and we'll talk about that in a second. But it was definitely, you know, they're six hundred dollar boots, you know. Um, if you watched any of my other videos on these boots, I think I paid six fifty for them, and then they gave me, or six fifty with the the belt too. So I bought a belt, and then um, they gave me a hundred dollars off because these were all supposed to be rough leather, and they made them smooth. 
but I actually really enjoy them. To tell you the truth, I really enjoy the smooth. Damn, I don't know if you can... I was really hoping to give you guys a really good detail of like how nicked up and how where the cuts are and stuff and where you can see all the fray but this this camera's just not doing it for me you can see the leather is really crispy right now and i haven't i've never oiled these i know leave a comment down below let me know how terrible of a boot dad i am this where this being wearing in around my my ankle and whatnot we got all these little creases right here on the where it bends in with my toe. Let me see how much this bends. When I first got these, these wouldn't even like move. They were so stiff. But you know, these are six hundred dollar boots. I ended up getting them for five because they they messed up or whatever. But um, they're so nice. I'm buying another pair. I spent five hundred dollars. Uh, I think almost six hundred dollars for the ones I got from that were building over at Frank's. And I mean, they're obviously worth the money if I'm going to spend another $500, $600 on a pair of boots, right? Um, it doesn't really matter who you go through. I mean, Whites is kind of owned by ABC or BCD or something, some kind of um, boot company that's owned by, a, um, I think, Japanese company, Japanese something. And they send a lot of their boots over, but they're the original boot people, you know, and then Nick's came next. And then I feel like Nyx is kind of getting in that position where they're going so big that they're they're kind of getting above like the quality. And when you're talking about Franks, Franks came from Nyx. Frank came from the whole building up the the underdog scene, you know. And now he's basically doing it again. And uh, yeah, he definitely has great quality. Everybody that's been sent that I've sent over there, you know, been really happy with the quality of their boot, quality of the service. Uh, Frank's an awesome guy to deal with. Junior's definitely a, a great guy to deal with. So, um, yeah, let's flip you around. We'll go talk about Frank's. Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about Frank's boots real quick. Man, it really bums me out how stained those things are. Um, i got to figure out, if you guys know, because, I mean, like, I've, like I said, I have never greased any of these boots. I'm a terrible boot dad. I need to clean those things. I don't know how to clean these things. I was going to clean them with, like, soap and water one time. I think there's even a video where I was trying to do that. And then I realized it's probably going to dry the leather out. And I really need to get some like good oil. So leave me some suggestions in the comments down below for the oils that you guys like to use and how you like to clean your boots. Let me know because I'd love to clean those up maybe in another video or something. Maybe clean some of these up in another video. I don't know, before I end up sending them off for resoles. So, listen, the the, the update on Nick's, or on Frank's boots. Um... Me buying those boots, it's a kind of an odd situation where I've bought the boot, we've been working on them, I stamped out all the leathers, and we're going to try doing like a process where I'm actually um, working on the boot through the different stages, or we're filming the different stages of the boot being built, which is adding a little bit more time to the boot being built, you know, and I have to be available, or they're taking photos, so... Um, People keep asking me for an update on the Franks, and that is pretty much where we're at with that, is it's going to take a little bit more time, uh, maybe a couple more months or something. Uh, I do have video of me stamping out the, the leathers. We're going to do probably some more video of, of a couple other stages, and we just haven't we just haven't reached that yet. I've been driving back and forth. We just haven't had the time to line up, but it will come soon, and we'll do an update on those. And uh, I'll definitely let you know when I get them because, it, I mean, I've been waiting too. You know, I, I want these nice boots to uh, start using again. And I was hoping I can get some of these other pairs maybe fixed for work so that I can just use the Franks when I, I don't know, want a good boot without destroying it. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but this boot, I mean, this thing's dirty, man. This thing is beat. So any boot that I'm going to take to work, this is what it's going to look like. It's just going to be this crispy critter of a boot. Oh, I wanted to talk about these leather laces. Leather laces. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had leather laces, and I probably won't ever go back, especially on a boot. I love the way these things tie up. I love how tight they get. Um, I You do end up going through them. They will snap after a while, you know, from wear. So there, there's that. So you maybe want to have a spare set. Um... I've gone through maybe three pairs, four pairs in two years. I don't think that's too bad. One pair every six months. You know, if you're really hard on them, maybe they'll last only for four, but you should be able to get like six months to eight months out of a pair, depending on your usage. So, um, 
not very much money and they look cool i think i like the leather laces so that's pretty much it we're waiting on the franks we're we're gonna be doing those we're gonna be doing those videos they're they're gonna be coming i might even start working on just the stamping out part and getting it set up for for the next couple the next couple stages that we're filming and um yeah that's basically it um if you're looking at my recommendations between whites nicks and franks i do lean towards franks just because i've had such good experience with them so far I haven't had one of their boots, but I know their quality is excellent, and just the time and um, the time and uh, detail that uh, those guys all put towards um, building those boots, I think, uh, really shines through. And uh, you also see it in the customer service. I mean, they take care of you. Um, look at all the comments on any of the Frank's boot videos I have. People are pretty satisfied. I don't think I've had anyone on there so far um, that isn't satisfied with either their service. I think somebody had mentioned that you know they weren't a answering emails and I, and I think Frank actually got on there and, and replied personally and said that he was like sorry you hadn't checked his emails. Some other something going on but I mean that was like a year and a half ago or something so I haven't had anyone else have a problem trying to get a hold of them. Uh, give them a call. Tell them uh, you saw my video. Tell them you want a nice pair of boots made. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll even work on some kind of deal with them in the future where, you know, maybe they'll kick a toe cap out for free or something if, uh, you know, a toe protector or something, you know, composite toe or something for, for, uh, I don't know, mentioning my video. I don't know. We haven't, this, we haven't gone that far yet. Okay. We're still working on some stuff. This has been a ramble. This is my boot collection. I hope you guys enjoy that kind of, uh, kind of a random whatever video. Um, if, uh, you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe, take a look at some of my vlogs, some of my other tool reviews and other reviews. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. Do you want to see more boot, boot videos like this? Do you want to see some vlog videos? Do you never want to see a video from me ever again? <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments below. All right. Uh, anything else you need to know or find out, it's in the description below. Is there anything else I'm missing? Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. I love you all, and peace.